The, um, the title of the Speaking of Life today is The Song of Hope by Mr. Greg Williams, who is president of the uh, GCI International at GCI International. And, uh, Did you have a trip your family took while you were growing up? Maybe to visit relatives across the country or maybe back to a parent's hometown or that one resort or beach town you visited every year without fail. You develop a certain routine. You might stop at the same hamburger joint like Melvin's in Elizabethtown on the way to White Lake, North Carolina. You may fill your car with gas at the same Scotchman service station because you know they have the cheapest prices. You get a feel for the landmarks, the DuPont plant, the Smithfield pork processing plant, the bridge across the mighty Cape Fear River, and the bait shop right before you enter the FFA camp at White Lake. If your kids are young, you might pass the time by playing I Spy or singing songs. Our kids still remember that Susan and I would count the cows in the fields on our side of the car riding through the country. The Israelites had similar travel customs and traditions. Israelites wore a groove between their homes and the temple, making the trip several times during their lives, and they would often sing psalms as they made their pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Psalm 84 was one they traditionally sang. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. This song might be sung several times along the way, ringing the theme that they were headed to God's courts. With rising joy as they approached the familiar destination, they would reiterate their central story as God's people. Stop for a second and think about this. The Son of God probably sang this song as a kid. Joseph and Mary most likely sang this song as they traveled to the temple to have him dedicated when he was 12. Some of the first sounds he would remember on earth were these hopeful words over and over. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young at your altars. O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. These were songs of comfort and longing, songs of home. We still sing these songs and similar songs as we tell these stories today, as we are on our own pilgrimage. We are not all the way home yet. We are not fully at rest. We are still on the journey. Jesus journeyed. He knew the fatigue and boredom that would occasionally arise, but he also knew the excitement of traveling with family. And that's the key. We are the family of God, still on that journey. The blessing is that Jesus journeys with us. He walks with us and he sings with us the songs of his home. I'm Greg Williams, speaking of life. Thanks for watching GCI's Speaking of Life. We hope you enjoyed it and were inspired. We'd love to connect with you, so be sure to like us on Facebook. You can also check out more on our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the most current GCI news. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.